Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through my top five tips on how to get a flat stomach and these are the tips that helped me before I had a baby and after I had a baby. So let's jump straight in. Okay guys, now just as a quick warning, if the camera dies and I switch to my phone, I do apologise. It is on 7%. I forgot to charge it and Eva is getting up in half an hour so I don't have time to charge it. So that's just how it goes. Anywho, let's just dive in straight with tip number one, which is increasing your water intake. Now, I always harp on about water, but water is so important. I always try and drink at least three liters of water a day. Now, I know that might sound like a lot, but honestly, the more you get used to drinking, the easier it does become. And there are so many different ways that you can jazz up your water intake. You can add fruit to it, you can add cucumber, lemon, orange, whatever it is to infuse it. There are many different ways you can set alarms as well. Now, the reason why water is so good is because it helps to purify the body and it helps to get rid of water retention because it helps to eliminate the water from your body. It helps flush out toxins and it really does help to also give us a flat stomach so that is my tip number one and do make sure that you try and increase your water intake i know it's easier said than done i always just walk around with a big liter bottle and it just helps me make sure i get my intake in as much as possible so moving on to tip number two which is increasing your fiber intake now i don't mean going crazy don't go from having no fiber to all of a sudden having loads of fiber because that can actually have the opposite effect now the reason why we want to make sure that we include fiber in our diet is because it helps to eliminate the waste in our digestive tract which is going to actually help you make sure that you're not bloated making sure that you have healthy bowels means that you're going to always make sure you have a flat stomach and it's going to be eliminating again the toxins that can be sitting in your body so in terms of what you can do to add fiber into your diet is you can just make sure that you're adding in lots of natural fresh fruit and fresh vegetables into your diet another really good and sneaky way to add in lots of fiber intake is again to add some chia seeds into your diet so you can sprinkle it in water you can put it on your yogurt you can put it into any of your food to be honest they don't really taste of anything but they are packed full of fiber and like i said it's just a really great way to making sure that you're getting what you need in your body now moving on to my third tip my third tip is exercise so i've spoken about exercise plenty of times but exercise is one of the best things that you can do for a flat stomach now in terms of what exercise you should be doing the things that i made sure that i focused on is that when i had to get rid of any fat that was accumulating on top of my stomach it was focusing on cardio now the cardio for me that always seemed to work and one that i really enjoyed was hit stuff there's tons of it on my youtube channel and again you guys can check it out in pink dragon i do have a seven day free trial that you guys can access just go to the app store and type in pink dragon there i make sure i do tons of hit workouts 15 minutes a day it helps to get the heart rate up and it's going to help to shed fat all over the body alongside that doing toning exercises that are going to help to really focus on the core is going to help to get the core a lot stronger and start giving you that definition toning and sculpting that you want in that midsection so those are the two types of style workouts that I would always make sure that I focus on when I am exercising. For you, you might enjoy doing something different for cardio. You know, you might enjoy going for a run or playing tennis or swimming. Find the cardio that works for you. But for me, it's always HIIT training. And also with HIIT, it helps you to burn fat after you've done the workout, which is always an added bonus. Plus you get it done quicker. So that's why I always like to do my HIIT training. And then for core, you can do a ton of different workouts. You can do full body routines that help to do the core. But for me, I always found, especially after I had my daughter, that focusing on just core exercises for like five minutes a day slowly building up the stamina and the strength really helped to get me back my ab definition so you guys can give that a try also okay and my fourth tip is making sure that you eat healthier I know it sounds simple but a lot of us don't actually follow this protocol and you know we might have one or two healthy things here and there and then kind of slip back into old habits so when I mean eat healthy I really try and mean not eating processed foods try and eat as whole food and as clean and as healthy as you possibly can actually have some vegetables pick you know leaner proteins that you can eat don't always go for the packaged good food that's in the supermarkets because those contain preservatives loads of sodium that are actually going to add to water retention and it's going to end up making you store more weight it's going to make the fat not go out of your stomach and that's not what we're here for guys so 
What you want to make sure that you're doing is just eating as clean as possible. I always make sure to focus on my protein. So I have protein shakes, lots of Greek yogurt, you know, leaner protein sources like turkey, chicken and fish. Those are the ones that I tend to really stick to. And if I do have any beef, um, I pretty much have that really irregularly. I have that like once every two weeks. So, um, you know, pick and choose what's good for you and things that you enjoy. Experiment with different flavors. You don't need to put salt on all your food. Herbs are a really good way to make sure that you can spice up your food. Add lemon, add lime, add orange, whatever it is, some spices, herbs. There are so many good and healthy ways that you can jazz up your food without having to put sodium on it. So give it a try and just really try and stick to those whole foods. It's the best thing that you can do for your body. Again, it's gonna help your digestive system run better. You're not gonna hold on to any water and your stomach will become flatter. Now, my fifth and final tip, again, might sound simple, but it's called consistency and patience. Yes, I know, it's frustrating to hear that, but honestly, a flat stomach is not gonna come overnight. It's gonna come over time with the accumulation of the things that I just spoke about. You need to make sure that you're putting in the work in terms of your exercises and routine or walking. You wanna make sure that you're also eating correctly, making sure you're having that water and that fiber intake. All those things are gonna to come together collectively and it's gonna to help to give you the body that you want all round. And it's gonna to help to flatten that stomach and get rid of any excess fat that you have and also just make those bowels and digestive systems on the inside works so much better but please have patience please do not think that you can do this and tomorrow you'll wake up and it'll be fine you can slip back into your old habits you really do want to kind of build up the tools that i'm giving you and turn it into a lifestyle because once you start doing those like small changes you realize how great it makes you feel and then you can start adapting and putting it into fitting into your lifestyle how it should go okay so just give it a try and make the small changes and then just have patience because it will come. I had to be patient and then I got my stuff back. So you guys could do it too. But of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments below because I am more than happy to help. And if you guys want to see more videos like this where I share my top tips or anything else of that matter, please let me know as well in the comments below. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button to my YouTube channel and let me know in the comments What's the first tip that you guys are going to take away from today and use? Anyway, that's it from me and I will see you guys next week.